Well, hello, my fellow video gamers and Let's Players. I'm Jodo Plays, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sly 4, Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time, whatever you want to call it. In the last episode, we started doing some missions in turning Japanese, and we got up to here. If you want to know some of those missions, we're doing reconnaissance and stuff like that, and yeah, that, that's basically it. And in this episode, we are going to, I actually accidentally forgot what we are going to be doing, but we do have to look for a guard that actually has a key... Oh god, that was kind of close. Okay, now, which guard could possibly have a key? It doesn't seem that you have a key because you don't have anything in your back pocket. I mean, you do have... Actually, do I have to worry about the guards that don't have shiny pockets? I'm, I'm not exactly... Oh no, you have a shiny pocket. I definitely know that Mr. You have the key. Anyways, as I was going to say, in this episode, we're continuing turning Japanese by doing some more missions. I was going to finish th finish this mission last episode, but it turns out that, uh, I felt like this mission would be a lot longer than it I thought it was going to be, which that is the case for a lot of missions in this game, because a lot of missions in this game can be quite long, which could be kind of bad. And I also was getting a little annoyed, but it was partially my fault because of... Lack of skill, I guess. And also, yeah, another reason why I... Actually, no, you know it. It's just I didn't want the episode to be too long because we were already pushing 22 minutes on the episode. And you know what? That's not a good thing, and I forgot. I need this here. Or maybe I don't need it right now. Because we're in a cutscene. Oh boy, do we have some crazy security in this place, god dang. Now we gotta play a little thing of soccer, let's try to hit balls, like that, oh god, hit the ball, there we go. Gotta hit the balls, and I believe now we're out of this costume, because we need to go over here and do the same thing. Uh, hit the ball, like that, and hit it. Ha. Huh. Don't you just like playing baseball? It's not, not really baseball, but it's close to baseball. Elegant. Look at that elegance right there. I said the point that out because I remembered it being really elegant there. And come on, baby. Baby, do the twist. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. I don't know why I'm singing that, actually. Because the last thing we're doing, we're not actually doing... Oh, God, I forgot to hit that, right? Oh, okay. Hey, when you're a little closer, it's a lot harder to actually hit some of these or... Well, I guess the timing frame is actually really easy on this, because as you saw, that was a really close. Actually, it wasn't. Never mind. Um. Um. What? Okay, well, I, I guess I'm going to talk over this, because it seems as if there is no audio to this cutscene. Which, now that this happens, I do remember this happening on my copy of the game when I was playing it. So yeah, we're just going to talk over this cutscene while, uh... It seems as if there is no... I mean, there's the background audio, you can hear that. It's just the commentary for their talking. It's it's just not there. And I don't know why. Oh god, it's starting to turn into like Sly 1 music there with like the Panda King stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. Now, are we going to fall down with the good old Ryuichi? The very small, slim guy. Probably the most looking like Sly. Uh, it probably reminds me the most of him because they're both very nimble. It's just so funny listening to, like, no sound effects or anything. And, well, we completed our job, and we have gotten Mr. Ryoichi out of his jail prison internment camp in... Well, he's not in China, though, and this is not the 1930s and 40s, so that is not it. After rescuing Ryoichi, we returned to the hideout. Unfortunately, there wasn't much time for family reunions. We needed to figure out what was going on, and fast. Ryoichi confirmed that the source of the trouble was the tiger we had tracked in the village, someone calling himself El Jefe. After some more database digging, Bentley was able to uncover his Interpol file. El Jefe had an impressive record. Over the years, he had taken over dozens of small countries around the globe, usually for the highest bidder. He was a ruthless mercenary and military strategist of the highest order. In fact, he once boasted that he could overthrow a country commanding only three blind mice. 
armed with plastic spoons. According to his file, this guy had mysteriously vanished a while back, just as the authorities were closing in. Well, we had found him, and we needed to take him down. It looked like we were in for a tough battle, so we decided to start with Ryoichi's Sushi Shop. Because that's a battle. Oh yeah, we have new goodies, but we're not going to check those goodies though, because we have to go outside and watch a cutscene. Or loading screen, I meant. Sorry about that. I believe that the, this next job we're going to be doing is actually one that we can use Ryoichi in, which is really cool, because it can show that we can play as the other characters and we're not just Sly. I mean, really, we've only been playing as Sly in this level, but we will be playing as other characters in due time, don't worry. There's also a lot- oh, excuse me there, but there's also a lot of, like, in-between things, I guess you could call it, and I need to make sure I know where I'm going. Ooh, Sushi House- Wait, what was that? It was Sushi House something. Sushi House Startup, okay. I kind of thought it was Startup, but then I'm like, wait, that's not Startup, that's something more clever. Sorry, game. I just, I did not find that title to be as clever as it probably could have been. And it feels, okay, those red dots are a little misleading, at least for where I am right now, because I believe those are supposed to be under me, I believe. And also there's some treasure up there, uh, if you actually want to see right up there. Oh, jeez, okay. You're gonna throw me backwards. I need to go this way, though, and find a way to make it up there to start some, uh, sushi stuff. I can already taste the crab ragu, and that's probably not even a Japanese, I mean, it's probably not even too much of a Japanese thing. It's just, I don't know, I just just I saw all that sushi on Murray's face and I'm like, you know what? I could go for some crab ragoon. Okay, Sly. It's time for Ryuichi to reclaim his sushi restaurant. It looks like the front door is the only entrance. We need to get rid of that guard if we're going to get Ryuichi inside. However, security is on high alert since we broke him out of jail and we can't risk raising an alarm. I think this one is going to require some misdirection. What do you mean? I bet if you wore that samurai armor you stole, you'd be able to relieve that guard at the front door. Right. Plus, I just look good in armor. Please. Come on, Sly. You're just trying to be a player. No one gets in or out. Understand? I don't want any more problems. We're gonna cause some problems, though. And all of a sudden, El Jefe, he, he's not there anymore. He was there, but then he's not. I don't know. Let's just go here and get in. Dismissed. And Ryuichi goes in. And it's time for some heist. Not really heist, but it's time for some, uh, action as Ryoichi, though. <laughs> Ryoichi's sushi house. And his wooden double canes, actually. Look at those double canes. Okay, Ryoichi. I guess I don't need to tell you about your old place. Quite ingenious of you to use your sushi knives as door keys, by the way. Benji son, I am a ninja master. Right. Uh, my bad. Anyway, my scan reveals your sushi knives are still here. The bad news is the guards definitely have them. There are also some security traps you've definitely never seen before. Benji son. Though the bamboo forest is dense, water flows through it without effort. Oh uh, yeah. Well, just be careful not to alert the guards. Now get those knives and take your restaurant back. If Ryoichi could please break out into Haiku, I would be a really happy camper. And it looks like we actually need to go up somewhere. So, you know, we're going to follow the directions and we're going up. And, wait, do we have our cool little thing? Let's see, R2 to focus and jump, yeah. This is Ryuichi's special ability. If you, press, pr if you press down R2 to focus and then press X, you can jump over to many different areas, which is really nice. Kind of like that, and like that. 
And that is how you... Okay, if I can go across here, because I believe I do have to go this way, actually. Okay, let's watch out for the light there. We don't want you to be spotted. I also like how fluently the lights move, because they move... Eh, they kind of move a little more realistically than uh, in other games. And I believe I actually need to go to this guy fish thing right here in order to continue by getting the key from this guard over here okay okay he doesn't have to be asleep in order to get it and like always kind of like the stupid samurai thing i mean yes uh those people can pickpocket if you really wanted to know but like oh no no wait 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 before we do that we're taking out this guy because we can look at that look how cool that looks man anyways we have a little bit of a knife to put in but what I was going to say, it's kind of like the samurai armor in the last episode. How is it just automatically in their pocket like that? That's way bigger than their pocket. It just comes out like there no more pockets, man. Do we, like, tear open their pockets? Also, we look really cool going through. Wait, wait, where's his other cane? I thought he had two canes. And that might have just been me. Oh, this is actually really cool, though. I really like this. Also, if you do that really fast, you can just keep pressing the X button to go to multiple ones. If you didn't know already, I really like this Ryoichi power up here. I believe- wait, can- do you go asleep? Because if you don't go asleep- oh, yes, you do go asleep. I was about to say, if you don't go asleep, I didn't know how I was going to be able to get past you. Now, I don't know if you have a key, but I can get stuff from you, though. Kind of like that. What is that? That is a Mahjong tile. What do play Mahjong? I- I don't- I don't know. There- there was a- oh, j come on! Come on! I knew that was gonna happen. Ah. Uh. I knew that was going to happen right when I hit that. God dang it. Okay, well, let's try this again. We're not going to attack anything this time. We're just going to walk right by and then jump on this like that. Because we do actually need to get on this in order to continue on because we do have a little guy over here. Wait, wait no. Do we just keep walking? Because I, I don't know if we have to get you. Wait, no. I think you have the key. Yes, it looks like you have the key, so we're going to have to go down here anyways to get your key. Well, that's actually not even a key, it's just one of his knives. It's just one of his sushi knives. Oh yes, it's your fillet knife to make your good old fillets of meat. Okay, it seems like I'm really too close to these guys, but whatever. We can just put that knife in there. And as always, I'm not going to attack any of those guys because we remembered what happened last time. Also, I like how they have all three of the knives there, so you never know which knife to actually get it. And I also don't know why he has to epically go in each one like that. And oh, yes, this is where it gets a little more tricky. What you have to go is you have to do this and you have to go fast like that. Yeah, yeah, I won the money. Because if you want to know those things, those tree things don't uh, stay up forever. So if you stay on them too long, they will collapse and you will fall to your death in the green ooze. And then you'll just restart from where you were. Okay, now I do need to make my way around here though because i do have a little area i need to go i'm not exactly oh there is an area up here i can go so i might as well climb up here because it seems like that is the area now jump there onto our little thing okay that's weird it was it was like a puffer fish i like puffer fish but that was just really weird though and as always ryoichi is rambling on about something but i'm not paying attention i mean i can hear him rambling on since i can hear the game audio it's just i'm, I'm not paying any sort of attention to it now where do i have to go though because i think there's a certain place i have to go and i might go in a circle if i don't do this correctly so we're right here and where, where do okay we have to we have to go this way so maybe I am going the right way, because that that says I'm going this way, so keep going, and go this way. Am I going in circles? No, no, I actually think this is where I need to go, because it seems like this is a new area. Yes, it is, actually. There we go, okay. I was thinking I was going the wrong way, is that? Uh, yeah, it's telling me to go there, so I definitely know I'm not going backwards. Okay, come on, jump. Oh, God, jump, and oh, Jesus. Oh my god, let's let's get this anyways, because I might I wanna get actually no, that that's the knife. That that's the knife we need. It's our cleaver. It's not cleavage, it's our cl okay, stop getting why why were you so affixi affix why were you so affixiated on that thing? Like I uh, might as well just let him talk there. Just so you can hear what he's trying to say, because he was trying to say at least something. And yeah. So, well, I guess we do have one little thing we can do, and that is to, uh, break all the stuff here, and climb up here and see what else we have. Because I believe we do have- we might have something up here if we go this way- or do we, actually? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we have anything here. 
Uh, whatever. Let's pull the lever. We gotta do that anyways, because if you pull the lever, this thing overheats, I think. Or does it overheat? No, we're doing something. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing, if we're breaking it, if we're starting it, or what we're doing. We caused some sort of fire to these things, which then made that blow up. Oh no, they're scared of electricity. Okay, that's what it is. I don't know how that's supposed to do anything, but anyways, we did go through there, and we got our knives back. Which will be used for later, if you don't know, because that's actually something. Now, I have to say that that is about it for this episode of Let's Play Sly 4... God dang it, Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, that is what I want to call it. So, in the next episode, we are going to be continuing with this game thing, turning Japanese, that's the home level that we're doing. And we're going to be doing some missions, because we have one as Murray, and we also have one as Ryoichi, so we're going to be doing those eventually. But I do want to see what, el what else is here. El Droppo, while in the air, press tr square. Could get that, could get Mega Charge Attack, could get, ooh... Silent Obliteration is really nice, and that's all I could buy right now. So, in the next episode, we're going to be doing what I said before. That little buying spree thing. So, this has been Juddle Plays saying see you later and goodbye. Another reason I'm ending this episode kind of early is because the last episode was decently long, probably like 22 minutes or so, so kind of want to even it out by making this a little bit shorter. So, anyways, see ya.